Well, good morning. This morning our scriptures found in Jeremiah chapter 23, beginning in verse 1, and it goes like this. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. Well, this morning, I got to forewarn the pastors. You are a true pastor must not only feed the flock, but he must warn the flock. Yes, we have to keep warning. Uh, you know, it's no different than if there's a bridge out, you're going to put a, a, a rail across it or something to keep people from falling in. Well, you know, if you stand behind the pulpit and you're feeding your flock, you're going to have to do the same thing. You can't just tell them all the good stuff. you got to tell them the truth about the justice of God. First uh, Peter chapter 5, beginning in verse 1, goes, The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the suffering of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Folks, we have got to warn people. We have got, if you're the shepherd of the flock, if you see a, a lion running by, you're going to have to warn them and protect them. Acts 20 and 28 tells us, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Folks, I tell you what, uh, now uh, preachers and pastors and evangelists are going to be held at a higher level than just the congregation. And so you're going to have to tell them the truth. Uh, we, we, we can't back off. We can't sugarcoat it. We have to tell them the truth. Ephesians 4 and 11 uh, tells us, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the protection. Uh, perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for edifying the body of Christ. We're being held at a higher standard, folks. And uh, if you uh, get up and, and tell fables to your people, you will be held accountable. The task of a pastor is to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. So get with it. Now, if you're not a pastor, let me tell you what, folks. You get into the Word of God. You read it for yourself. You can see uh, what, what your preacher's doing. If he's feeding you, or if he's just soling, lulling you to sleep. And many are being lulled to sleep. So read the word of God and pray daily. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. Take notice. If you don't feel conviction while your pastor or teacher or evangelist is, is up in front of you, 
<laughs> you need to find out why. And you need to take care of the situation right away. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus love you. Yep, he died on the cross for us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.